Harvester in. Remember all that work we did last night on, oh, yes. on the Academy? Mm -hmm. So we're moving all those buckets around. Then we're putting the step, steps, stepping yep. stones right. within the bucket, step by step for success. Right, right. And we're talking about the marketing piece. Yeah. And one of the stepping stones is know thy competition. I remember, remember that one? Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's so an important I think it's such a good one. I think we should share with our audience today. What do you think? Good idea. This is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed Lafon from the East Coast. And we call this know thy competition, but it's really what we call, it's even, even more um, stealth-like. You know, mm. it's like competitor recon. Right. Okay, reconnaissance. It's competitive out there, folks. We all know that. And you need to know what your competition is doing. So here's what we suggest you do. Look at your top five competitors. You need to look at your top five competitors. You know what? A, a lot of the new uh, clients I go to, I ask, always ask, do you know your top five competitors? And you know what? They don't know. No way. They have an idea, but they don't really know. So you're right, Bill. You need to know your competition. You need to say, take your top five competitors mm -hmm. and take a good look at them. I'm talking about a really good look at them. Right. and learn about them. So your top competitors or maybe companies that are better than you are in your marketplace and learn about them. Do some competitor recon. Why don't mm -hmm. you give us some tips? Good idea. Uh, let me give you a few here. Um, do you know what, what they charge? That's, they'd be pretty, important. pretty important. Yeah. Um, how they market themselves or how they're different. How do they market themselves and how are they different, okay? Uh, how much do they pay their people? Well, you're probably wondering of oh, these these items I just talked about, how in the world are you going to find that out? Let me give you a few ideas. First of all, I would check their website because on their website, they may have a lot of this information, especially the marketing piece and how they're different. Okay. Uh, another one might be when you, when job applicants come to you and you talk to them, they're usually working or many times they're working for a competitor. Find out what they're, what they're getting paid. And sometimes they'll share, discreetly what other positions will pay. That's a good one, huh? That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. And uh, also, Dun & Bradstreet, you know, you, many of them, uh, if you subscribe to a service like Dun & Bradstreet, they'll share with you their financial situation, who the owner is, and many times a lot of details of, of even who, what accounts they take care of. Another thing you could do is after you're awarded a contract and you feel comfortable with the owner, you can always ask them for the proposals for the for the competitors to bid the job. A lot of times they'll share those with you. And if they won't give them to you, a lot of times they'll let you see them, okay? I find that is really informative, okay? And very few contractors ever ask for that. So think about doing that too. What do you think, Bill? I think that's pretty good. You know what? I think just about everything Ed says is pretty good stuff. But I never really tell him that. I probably never will. Okay, let's continue. You know, one of the other things I think you should do is after you've collected all that information, Ed, you should make a list of everything you've got, both big and small. Keep the little details. Like you're, you're doing some pretty good stuff. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever told you that, have I? No, no, you haven't. Not too much. Those are pretty good ones. So I've listed them <laughs> in three categories. What does your competition do better than you? Oh, okay. You can always learn from people doing things that are better, right? Yeah, and it yeah. may be small guys, too. When yeah. I was working with a big company, Valley Crest Companies, mm -hmm. we'd look at small companies as well. We could learn a lot from them. True. What do they do better? What do they do worse? So how you can kind of capitalize on some of their weaknesses and what do they do the same? So you can see if you can differentiate yourself in the future. Hmm. So this is how you can get stuff. better. You know, learning from your competition. Know thy competition. You'll be glad you did. This is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed LaFlon from the East Coast. Now go out there and harvest your potential and know thy competition. Right in? Yeah, hey, let's not get too competitive here. <laughs> That's a really good idea, Bill. <laughs>